Yes, sir. My brother. Yes, you know already. Every time. I go all the way to uh, what's that rock and roll festival? Uh, rock the bells. Rock the bells. Mm -hmm. I'm up on stage with Q-Tip and and Tribe. And I'm standing out and look, and who's waving at me from the audience? I, I go to downtown Toronto, I'm walking down the street, minding my business, who's waving at me? I'm here, minding my business, who's waving at me? Brother, how you doing? What's your question, beloved? Yo, man, um, just, uh, every time it's said, this is so much fun. Thank you for being here again. I, just a couple pictures ago, um, I Sometimes I don't even get from my own people in my own land. And I come now and I have children here. Not by myself. I have grown children that are like my sons and daughters. They've embraced me as an elder. And that's so important and so powerful to me that my heart... I was battling cancer a couple of years ago. And I wasn't supposed to be here. But I'm here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to fight <laughs> The love, the respect, and the, and the beauty that, that Toronto specifically and Vancouver have shown me, that give me power to keep going. So what we're going to do in the Q&A is you're going to ask questions, but I'm going to give you a little bit deeper insight. Unless you're really bored, then I'll you know, go get a coffee or something. ODB is half Blackfoot Indian. So-called Indian First Nations, whatever they want. You know, people always got to label us, but he was half Blackfoot, and he was wild. He'd be high. He'd be spitting at photographers. He'd send his his boys to go smack photographers, smash them. He, he was just not, you know, he didn't like being bothered. And one day, I was parking in a parking lot, and <laughs> the brother I was with that was doing security because, you know, the clubs get rough and this brother is like the cat that lifts refrigerators every morning. You know, he just moved to it. And he's still with me. Um, he goes up to ODB and he says, ODB, uh, we got a photographer here that wants to photograph you. And ODB started cursing at him. And he, ODB looked at me and he ran over and the brother I was with didn't get a chance to grab him. And he's oh God. And ODB grabbed me and embraced me. He said, my brother. And he let me take all the pictures I want. So that's ODB. I could tell you another story, but it'd be kind of braggadocious. Uh, I was, I got on a bus, a tour bus with uh, Raekwon, who was there. It was his bus. And all these brothers fresh out of jail, got their shirts off, they're doing push-ups. So I said, damn, and they're throwing money down there. So I said, damn, let me do some of that. Let me get some, yo, mama, yo, mama, yeah. So I'm like, okay. They said, how old are you? I think I was 60 or 55, I don't know. So I said, I'll tell you what, let's do $10 for each push-up we do over our age. So these kids are easy. That's 25 or 20, whatever. So I'm down there doing push-ups, and I'm kicking, you know, and they're all smoking weed, their lungs are not good, and you know, they're, so I'm up there, I'm eating vegetables and not eating meat, and, you know, sleeping eight and ten hours. I'm the, so the money, they're piling money, and all of a sudden I feel a foot in my back, and it's pushing me down. I look, and it's Ray Kwan. He says, take your money, and, you know, he gives me all the money, and he says, take your money and shut up and get off my bus. So they wait, 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 everybody's like, wait, wait, wait. He said, no, man, you all played yourself, and he gives me all the money. <laughs> Living good is its own reward. Next question. Yes, sir.